Honda has been developing autonomous features to boost the safety in a number of its vehicles. IT World Canada was shown the all-new 2018 Odyssey, which boasts a collision-mitigating braking system and front grille radars to avoid collisions. Some of the technologies that we can explain would be the collision mitigation braking system. Uh, that's an important feature to have and a, a safety technology. It can detect a vehicle in front of you. Uh, if you're traveling on the highway, if you're traveling on city streets, if all of a sudden a, a vehicle is slowing down quicker than you anticipate, that radar that's, that's mounted on the grill will detect that distance. If it's closing in rapidly, it would give you a warning system on, on the dash as well as provide some, some light braking to help you avoid getting into a frontal collision. These features are available in almost all Honda vehicles, including the Civic, the CRV, and the Pilot, and will come as standard in the new 2018 Honda Odyssey, which is available now. Honda has developed all of this technology in-house and even tested it in the harsh Canadian weather. We've had it available with snow, all different types of weather conditions. We've done testing in, in northern Canada as well, in, in certain areas that have a lot of really, really cold temperatures. Uh, there isn't any issue with the radar or the function of the, the way it works. If there ever is a condition where you have a lot of snow, ice, or buildup on, on the front of the vehicle, it would still continue to work when you get an, an extreme amount. Uh, just like if you would on a, a windshield, you would be clearing it, uh, the, the radar system will give you an indication that you need to get out and kind of clear the snow and sleet. And we're talking about a pretty uh, large amount. Uh, you can stop at the next uh, available time, simply wipe it off and continue on your way and it will just continue to function as, as normal. While Honda has been one of the more cautious automakers when it comes to developing self-driving cars, it recently announced that it hopes to have a fully functional autonomous vehicle by 2025. Thank you for watching this video. I'm Mandy Kovacs with IT World Canada. And last but not least, we look at Hyundai next and the work it's put into autonomous technologies.